Load Session gives you access to any previously saved SD9 sessions located in either the console's projects folder on the internal drive or on an external USB drive. This selection is done by touching the internal or removable button located in the top left-hand corner of the screen. Once a drive has been selected, the drive directory will appear in the left-hand side of the display. Each folder can be expanded by clicking on the plus symbol to its left. The list can be scrolled using the scroll bar to its right. Touch the button and folder from which you want to load your session. Any SD session that is located in the selected folder will be displayed in the session list detailing the last time it was saved and for SD9 sessions, the channel and bus configuration will also be displayed. On the right-hand side of the session list, you will see the rename file and delete file. These actions can be carried out on any file in the list apart from the currently loaded session. Touching on a session file will highlight your selection and the load button will be enabled. Touch on this to load the selected session. Also highlighted is the partial load button located in the top right hand corner. Partial load is a way of loading certain parts of one session and merging them into the currently loaded session. For example, the setup of your input channels or your snapshot information. Once you have decided what parts of the session you require, touch on load and the selected parts will be loaded overwriting what is in your current session. There are two options for saving your session, Save Session and Save as New File. Touching Save Session will overwrite the current session file, providing that the session has a file name and has been previously saved. If the session has not been previously saved, or you select Save as New File, the Save Session display will open. At the top of the Save Session display are two text boxes showing a file name and a session title. To edit these, touch the relevant text box, then enter the new name or title either with the on-screen or external keyboard and press OK. To overwrite another session or to save the session in a new folder but with a previously used name, touch the session of that name and its name will appear in the file name box. The location of the session file to be saved, as with load session, is defined in the directory in the left-hand side of the display. Each folder can be expanded by clicking on the plus symbol to its right. The list can be scrolled using the scroll bar to its right. Touch the button and folder within which you want to save the session. To create a new folder in which to save your session, select the location of the folder in the way that has just been demonstrated and touch the new folder button in the right hand side of the display. Next, you need to name the folder using the external keyboard. To rename a folder, touch the folder within the directory. Touch the rename folder button in the right hand side of the display and type the folder's new name. To delete a folder, touch the Delete Folder button in the right-hand side of the display. Touch the folder to be deleted and touch Yes in the confirmation pop-up which appears.